this is the newest STBA or self-contained breathing apparatus and this one in particular is the MSA G1 and what's what's interesting about this SCBA is it's a total change from what we had this is what's known as a high pressure SCBA it goes to 4500 pounds per square inch and the old system we had was a lower pressure well what does that mean you might think well for one this gives our firefighters more air and more time on air than what we had before. So literally we've added uh, 10 to 12 minutes worth of working time than they used to have. At the same time, this SCBA is the newest NFPA standard. So when the newest NFPA standard of 2018 comes out for SCBAs, which governs all the safety equipment that we use with the SCBA, this in particular is going to be the latest and the greatest. So a lot of things have changed since our old SCBAs, which were 2002 compliant, this is 2018 compliant. So that being said, there are a lot of different safety issues that have, have arisen since that, and that's to help keep our firefighters safe. One of those standards is this field of view has grown by 20%. So this lens actually gives our people more of a peripheral view of what's going on for situational awareness purposes. On the back plate of the SCBA, the 2002 compliant SCBAs that we did have had a lumbar pad, which was comfortable for the technology at the time. But this is so great because it, it's actually a swivel, okay? So when we're crawling or walking, it, it flexes with us, so it doesn't pull on our back muscles. So if I have a really tall firefighter, I can leave the lumbar pad here. But if I have someone that's not as tall, I can move it all the way up. Therefore, we've covered all the bases from the 6'6 firefighter to the 4'6 firefighter, and, and there's no, no change in the operation. What MSA has done is they've issued us the lithium ion rechargeable battery. And the opportunity cost that this creates for us is now maintenance doesn't have to be involved with changing these out. In other words, our old SCBA, we had to use MSA technicians to actually change out AA batteries in the mask. Now all we, all we need to do is take this slotted belt buckle and I put it in there, take the battery out, and then I walk it and I put it on a bank charger. I gra grab a new one that is fully charged, and I replace that, and we're all good to go. So now I didn't have to take a truck out of service. I didn't have to go to station four. I didn't have to go buy batteries. I literally took 22 seconds to change that out. This battery and the entire pack, uh, all pieces and parts, are warranted for 15 years and that is an industry leading thing and which is one of the other purchase points uh, for us along with the ergometrics and the safety upgrades uh, MSA had, had put in and engineered into this SCBA. It's our job to make sure that the men and women of the Lakeland Fire Department have the best equipment with the safest initiatives possible.